welcome to the Milk and Honey Kitchen. I just got back from a workout and I'm gonna make one of my favorite smoothies, which is my avocado smoothie. I know that might sound a little weird, but trust me, it is amazing. So I'm gonna take an avocado that's ripe but not overripe and just have it, oh, beautiful one. And since I'm super hungry right now, I'm actually going to double up on the basic recipe and put the whole avocado in. The reason why this is so great after a workout is because avocado is super high in potassium, so that's gonna help your muscles recover. And this is something that actually, you know, even with the green color, my kids really love this because the flavor is so nice and it's creamy. I've also got a banana going into this, which is also really rich in potassium, and it's uh, another great way to fuel those muscles after a hard workout. A cup of vanilla yogurt going in. If you are vegan and don't wanna do any dairy, um, you could use soy yogurt or coconut yogurt. They're both great. I've got a cup of coconut water here. Fantastic for rehydrating. It's got a ton of electrolytes in it. And then I'm gonna put in a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a little bit of agave. You can always blend it and then add the agave to taste. I just like to add a little bit for just a little hint of extra sweetness. You could also use honey. And then a quarter cup of ice. All right, so get our lid. Turn it on and turn it to the smoothie setting and go. Okay, so if it looks a little too thick, this one's good, but sometimes they look a little too thick, you can always add a little bit more coconut water to it. So I'm also gonna show you in a minute how to make a smoothie bowl with this smoothie. Mmm, that's so good. It tastes like dessert, but it's fantastic for you, it's so delicious. Mmm. Cheers. So I poured the rest of the avocado smoothie into a bowl to make a smoothie bowl, which really is just a smoothie in a bowl, but of course it has to be thick enough or else your ingredients that you put on top are gonna sink into it. And really I think it's kind of a fun way to present a smoothie. Uh, my kids love it, I love making them with dragon fruit. So here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda go on an angle with a tablespoon of hemp seeds, which are really rich in omega-3 fatty acids, and make a little um, fun diagonal design on top. That's, I think, the really cool thing about smoothie bowls is that you can get very creative and, I mean, you could put your kids' initials on top, you can put your own initials on top, whatever you like. And then I'm gonna do some coconut here. This is gonna be so yum. And this is awesome, again, you know, after a workout or in the morning, if you want to impress guests, make this for them for brunch. You've got a picky sister who's coming to visit. Goji berries are another really nice topping. You can see how pretty that looks. Thanks for joining me in the Milk and Honey Kitchen. Please subscribe and I'll catch you next time.